you ever feel like you're not getting that real scary excitement when you watch movies and TV shows nowadays? Well, I want you to know that I'm a big fan of horror, just like you, and I've got some really exciting news to share. The scary white and red devil, along with those creepy red balloons, is coming back to give us all the shivers. I have all the chilling information you want to hear, so watch until the end of this video to find out when our favorite nightmare is going to return and scare us all over again. With that said, let's start. Um, yes, please. You look like a nice boy. I bet you have a lot of friends. Stephen King's world has grown bigger once more. There's this new scary TV show coming up called Welcome to Derry. It's being made by Andy Muschietti, Barbara Muschietti, and Jason Fuchs. The show is like a story that happened before Muschietti made those two movies about a creepy clown called It in 2017 and 2019. Those movies were based on Stephen King's book called It. People have loved this It story since it first came out in a book way back in 1986. In 1990, they even made a movie out of it with Tim Curry playing the really scary Pennywise clown. That movie was a big hit on the ABC channel that year. Now, Warner Brothers Discovery has told us about their new streaming service called Max. And guess what? They're going to make a whole new show based on the two It movies by Andy Muschietti. They're calling it Welcome to Derry, and it's a spin-off. This series is going to dig even deeper into the history of Derry, Maine. I mean, this sounds like a real-life nightmare, doesn't it? They say they're going to reveal Pennywise's background and everything that led up to the first It movie. I can't help but wonder, do I really want to know about Pennywise's past? Do you? Well, it seems, yes. Deep down, we're really craving for a spine-chilling horror. We did get some info in IT Chapter 2 about how Pennywise started, but there's still so much we don't know about his story. I know that the upcoming TV series will show us what happened in Derry before all the scary stuff Pennywise did in the movies. It's like a trip back in time to see how the town was before Pennywise started scaring people. If you ever wanted to know where Pennywise came from and how all the bad things began, this series will finally give us those answers. Sarah Aubrey, who is in charge of making new shows for HBO Max, talked about what they have planned. She gave us a little sneak peek into Welcome to Derry. She said that they had been working closely with Jason Fuchs, Brad Caleb Kane, Andy Muschietti, and Barbara Muschietti. She mentioned that they were deeply immersed in the mythology of the project and had a strong grasp of the storytelling related to the characters, as well as the unsettling scares they were incorporating. She added that at times, she wondered what was wrong with them, given the inventive and frightening ways they came up with to terrify the audience. She also stated that there would be more concrete information about the development coming soon, and highlighted Andy's extensive involvement in all aspects of the project, emphasizing that this was the key to success and pleasing the fans. I'm excited to tell you about the new series that Andy Muschietti and his sister Barbara are working on. They are teaming up with Brad, Caleb Kane, and Jason Fuchs to create this series. Now, if you're wondering whether Bill Skarsgård will be playing Pennywise again, I have some news. He won't be, as he confirmed in an interview with Jake's Takes. He said that he isn't currently involved with it. He advised that if someone else were to take on the role, they should do it their way, make it their own, and have fun with it. He mentioned that what he found enjoyable about that character was how abstract he had been. But don't worry, there are still some great actors involved in the prequel series. Taylor Page, Jovan Adepo, James Remar, and Chris Chalk will be joining Madeline Stowe and Steven Ryder, according to Warner Brothers Discovery. Andy Muschietti is also going to make this series. He showed a picture of the place where they are making the show on his Instagram. In the picture, you can see a door with the name Chief of Police Clint Bowers on it. Clint Bowers is probably the father of Henry Bowers, from the book and movie. The series will take place in the town with the same name during the 1960s. The Bowers family name is quite familiar to fans of It. You see, it's linked to two well-known characters in the original story. There's Henry, who leads a gang of bullies that cause trouble for the main characters, and his father Butch. In the book, Butch is a farmer, but in the Muschietti movies, he's a cop. So it's likely that someone related to him is in charge of the Derry Police Department in the series. Now, the story unfolds right in the made-up town of Derry, Maine. Every 27 years, something terrifying and deadly called It reappears there, feasting on the fears of kids. It often takes the shape of the really creepy clown, Pennywise. We don't know for sure which exact year the Welcome to Derry series will be set in, but since it's a prequel, it'll be before the events of the book and the movies. It might occur during one of the earlier 27-year cycles, possibly even the very first time Pennywise terrorizes Derry. 
But if you're as hyped as we are about this upcoming horror series, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on all things Pennywise and Dairy. I found some video clips from the first glimpse of the movie set. A person named Mr. Will Wong posted these clips on TikTok. In his video, we got to see many different parts of the movie set, and we also saw a few actors and the people who work behind the scenes. The video showed us places that we recognize from Stephen King's story like Derry. One of those places is the famous Jade of the Orient restaurant where the Losers Club had some scary experiences. I want to share some cool stuff about the filming of a movie in Derry. Cast member Taylor Page was spotted at the set. She was hanging around on the set or maybe really close by. People don't know who her character is yet, but some people think it might be a brand new character, not from the books. Now, there's this big statue of Paul Bunyan from the It story, but it doesn't seem to be there in Derry on the movie set. Strange, right? There's a sign saying it's going to show up soon, and it has a date that looks like coming 1962. Remember Finn Wolfhard? He played Richie Tozier in the 2019 sequel called It Chapter 2. Well, in that movie, Richie had to run away from that huge monument, and It was also in Stephen King's original It novel. Muschietti and his sister Barbara talked about the book by Stephen King. They said, when they were teenagers, they read this book together. They loved it so much that the book became old and worn out because they read it a lot. The movie they made is based on this big book, but the book is even bigger in its story. Muschietti and Barbara want to show everyone all the different parts of the book in their movies. They are excited to share all the feelings and scary moments from the book with everyone. They want to make sure you see the love funny parts and the scary parts in the movie. They really care about the book and they can't wait for you to see it. Stephen King, who wrote the book It, is happy that they are making this series. King expressed his excitement about the continuation of the story of Derry, which he described as Maine's most haunted city. He also mentioned his happiness that Andy Muschietti would be overseeing the scary events, and he mentioned a group of smart people, including Andy's talented sister, Barbara, who would be involved. King even mentioned the presence of red balloons all around. I'm really looking forward to the release of Welcome to Derry. People are really excited about it. But I've been wondering, when is it actually going to come out? Well, I did some digging, and it looks like Welcome to Derry is set to be released in 2024. Yep, you heard that right. They're planning to release it on Max, which is pretty cool. At first, they were saying it would be out sometime in 2023, but then they revealed the release year is 2024. So that's the plan. Now, we don't have an exact date yet for when we can expect to see Pennywise and all the spooky stuff, but folks are saying it'll probably be in the first part of the year. Keep in mind, this is just an estimate based on what we know so far. We're still waiting for the official details. But don't worry, as soon as we get the scoop, we'll update you on the latest news. Can't wait to watch it. Share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to face your fears with us. Stay tuned for more spine-tingling content, and until next time, stay tuned to our channel for more chilling adventures. See you in Derry.